Good morning and welcome to another Yo's Build video. So today, if you watched the last video when I was reviewing the Juke, uh, you heard me mention that we were gonna get to a track day. Today's the day. It is right now 5.30 in the morning. Uh, the firm is in Stark, Florida. It's about two and a half hours, three hours from my house. Uh, driver registration was all done online, but you have to be there at 8 a.m to the driver's meeting. So let's put you guys on a time lapse. You're not gonna be able to see anything cause it's pitch black outside right now. Uh, but let's get to the Stark, Florida. Let's get to the driver meeting. Let's get to the firm. Let's have a great video. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. absolutely horrible We've got the planes out here which I've seen in run next video so now let's get to tech the drivers meeting um, and uh, see what we can do out here see what a lot of times we can set uh, the video or the group that we're coming out here with is a Nissan infinity group I believe from Jacksonville uh, and one of the members actually invited me because they seen the juke so let's get to it let's have some fun Let's set some lap times. Let's maybe win a trophy. Who knows? This is a uh, road course checklist. So you gotta find me a pen from one of these Z guys and uh, fill this bad girl out so we can get teched in. Oops, he tell of the dragons. If Marcus here or one of the other workers out there has a flag like this and is pointing at you, it's because you did something wrong. <laughs> Don't do it again. <laughs> uh, more often than not, if you've got passengers, which now obviously should not have passengers, they've got their arm hanging out the window. You're trying to drift. There is no drifting today. Dang it. No drifting. No drifting. Um, blue flag, yellow strike. You got traffic behind you faster traffic. They've probably been there behind you and they've been waiting to get past you. It's probably me out of trying to get past a faster car. <laughs> um, because if you see him behind you, they, he didn't just appear out of nowhere. He's quicker. This track is kind of short, especially the way we're running today with a shoebox. The slower, lighter cars are going to be quicker than some of the big, powerful cars. So just watch your mirrors. Wait, when you have that happening, when we're on the open sessions where you've got passing allowed, Wait till you're on a straightaway. I don't have the track map here. Everyone's got track maps in their packs today. Take a look, there we go. So you've got the green sections here, and this one's not apt today because we're using the shoe box. There's no passing. All right guys, so we made it to the track. That was a long drive. We made it to the driver's meeting. Uh, this is my first time at the firm, so I have the blue sticker. So I'll be in one of the novices classes. So the first, time we're going out on the track there's going to be a parade lap we're going to follow everybody just to get around the track to learn what it is how it works and then we're going to do up to six sessions today so this is going to be a fun one hope you guys enjoy stay tuned
well, we just got done with the parade laps. That was fun. Uh, I'm in the blue class, which is one of the first novice classes. Um, like I said, I've never raced at the firm before. I've done other events, but we are going to wait until we're called now. They're gonna run two sessions, I believe. So that'll be about 40 minutes. So we can let the juke cool down, whatever. We weren't really wide open at all, ever. We're just going through the gears and turning. Um, so we can go check out the car show for a minute and then next second guys you'll see us back on track you said green and blue yeah we're gonna try to run you guys together oh okay i think the numbers will work out better that way i don't know what the blue even means intermediate versus advanced oh okay you're good
I wasn't ready for that. So that was 10 minutes into the session. Uh, I started to feel a little brake fade, so I just came off the track. Uh, that's amazing. Racing disease with our compounds. Those things handle really well, uh, as I expected. Uh, I need to upgrade the spring rates or something because the juke dives into the corners way too hard. Um, like I said, I've never done a road race with it or a road race track with it. So I was kind of expecting to feel something, you know, weird. So I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. That was literally 10 minutes, third and fourth gear the whole time. So these guys might be in second gear, but the juke has really short gears. So that is third and fourth gear the whole time. Let's let it cool down. Let's go check out the car show and I'll come back to y'all.
the first time I went out with the uh, professionals, uh, that Z has like R compounds and everything. Uh, has some crazy brake pads. So now we're out here with the blue group, which is the intermediate group, which is the group we were supposed to go with. So we'll see what happens. We're gonna chase the Miata in a vet.
right guys, so it's now uh, 150. We're gonna go out for our last track session and then we're gonna make a long drive back to Orlando and go to Elite Tuner. Uh, we pre-registered for that event too. I'll probably be late and have to talk to them and see if I can get in. But we'll see if we can get in. I did pre-register VIP so should be able to, but let's get to the track.
all right guys so that's the third session for the day uh it's getting late now so it's 2:20. um i'm gonna be done with track racing for today uh brakes need upgraded they have a wobble to them after like the second or third lap uh, they don't fade, but they have a weird shimmy to the front end when you get on them too hard. And I need to look at the preload on the coilovers because when I go into a corner on the left-hand side, you can hear the coilover bottom out and you go on a corner on the right-hand side and it doesn't make the same noise. So I'm wondering if the shock is blown or I just don't have enough preload on the coilovers. Uh, the rear is planted. Tires are amazing. Literally, uh, that is fourth and fifth gear around the track. So that's like, you know, 80 miles an hour um, So I didn't do a lap time. I forgot to even use my phone to lap time myself But feels pretty good uh, me a Miata and a vet all on our compounds We're running together. We never caught each other and we never passed each other. So we were all running similar times So let's get to driving all the way back to Orlando It's like a two and a half hour drive and hopefully we can make it to the show on time if you guys have never been out to the firm before or didn't see earlier, it is an active airport. There is actually airplanes coming and going while rally cross is going on, while autocross is going on, while road racing is going on. It is crazy. Uh, today the track was using uh, the hairpin turn, which is basically where it breaks up the straightaway. It's better for novice because you don't get much speed going down the back stretch or front stretch or whatever you want to consider it. Um, I think it's the front stretch but then you don't have to worry about running off or killing the brakes too much so let's get on our trip 